What's up guys, welcome back to another action video. Today we are hopping into the 17th episode of the fifth season of Smallville Void. Um, last time was heartbreaking um, because, well, Klana finally broke up, which, I mean, it was like weird there for a little bit because she broke up with them in Reckoning, but then, you know, Jonathan died, so she kind of hung around, and they were together, they weren't together, or I don't know, it was confusing. They broke up, but in like the most messed up way, like Lex hired um, this girl who could like hypnotize people, basically, and basically made Clark cheat on Lana, and, you know, her finding out and everything, and then... You know, Clark at the end, you know, decided that he wasn't going to patch things up and that it did what he had, couldn't do, which was break up with her. So that's the end of that. And of course, Martha at the very end was like, you know, well, can tell your secret. Maybe she's not who you're meant to be with because we all know who that is. Um, so, yeah, but then also um, Spike is back. So, um, and he found the spaceship, and I'm not sure if they needed, like, blood samples for something. So, we'll see where that storyline goes. Um, I'm excited to hop into this next episode. So, if you want to see my full reaction to this episode or any of the other episodes, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you're getting over here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just take 30 seconds to like, comment, and subscribe. So, without further ado, here we go. We are hopping into the 17th episode of the fifth season of Smallville Void. Let's go. What are we up to? Of course it's green. Two thousand dollars? What the hell, girl? What are you buying? This little cocktail is my lock on a Nobel Prize. Dude, what is Lana getting into? Forget it. Two thousand dollars for two minutes. It's not worth this. It's not worth this, man. Twenty seconds longer than last time, and I almost found them. Oh, her parents. I missed you so much. We know how hard it's been. I loved him so much. We're here for you, Anna. Damn, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. It wasn't long enough that I had to go back. Girl, no. No, you were convulsing. Oh, she fine and fine. Clark, we've got a problem. <laughs> That'd be so nice, man. I want super speed. Fast. But oddly formal. Don't worry, Lana's not here. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably probably what's going on Lana. What's our crisis? Mass destruction and death in Central America. And the possibility that your former professor, Milton Fine, is involved. Yep. He's dead. The only thing we're really sure of is that he disappeared. And so did that ship. Girl, you are looking rough. Should I even bother asking what you were up to last night? Just hanging out. Chloe, it was no big deal. Maybe not, but it doesn't really look like all nighters agree with you. Understatement. Okay? No. I'm okay. Well, I know that Clark's breakups have been really difficult, but Chloe, it's not like someone died. People break up every day. It's not a big deal. I'll get over it. Man, she is going through it! We're going through it, there is! That is so cool. Look, maybe a political function, but in my experience, the last thing anyone wants to do over dinner is talk shop. Just. It's another way to uh, connect with your colleagues. Yeah, interesting Why strategy. Tomorrow night, I'll help you navigate the rough waters. I hope you're not expecting something on a personal level. There you go. Make it clear. Set your boundaries, girl. Never be anything more than friends. Go. Good. Have you seen this man? <laughs> like, ooh, hot white boy. Can I see that? Yes, yeah, the ship. I have to go back there again. I have to see my parents. It's not right. good. It's gonna cost you five grand this time. Five grand? No what? How the hell do you have five grand? He has the five grand. Yeah, someone's got to do something. If you needed money, all you had to do was ask. Right? Just tell me what's wrong. She's like going through like withdrawals. You're acting like a junkie trying to find the next fix. Exactly how she's acting. They kill you and then they bring you back. I went to the other side and I saw my parents and it was beautiful. You have to look at yourself. Look at what you've become. I just, I wanted to see them so badly, but I'm just so alone. I think maybe it's time we both stop trying to hold on to the people we've lost. We start turning to the ones we still have in our lives. She gonna run off? Yep. Where'd it go now? God damn it. Girl, you're looking rough too. I need to talk. I'm here because I'm worried about my friend. 
and you think it's your business, yeah, I know it's my business. And if you don't tell me what you guys are up taking all night, I'll make it the university's business too. Lana hasn't been partying and she isn't moping around mourning her high school sweetheart. What is she taking? Drugs? You're so small-minded. No wonder Lana came to us. Came to you for what? That's between Lana and her loved ones. Girl, if you don't tell her right now. Oh God, what? Oh my God! You better call like nine one one or something. Oh my God! Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Lana, what are we getting into, girl? Right? Are you serious, Lana? No. Thank you, Lex. Yeah, if I was a GPS on the thing. Cars, they all come with GPS tracking. Right? No, 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 Lana. <gasps> oh shit! You ignored everything I showed you. The life you could have had. If only you made a different choice. And what choice would that be? You think the path you've chosen isn't going to hurt? You're not the only one that's going to suffer. Don't let the blood wash away what's left of your soul. What are you talking about? The blood. Yeah. All the people you're going to murder. Shit. The glove. Oh, thank God someone found him. Right? You really need that. Oh, you really need that bad girl? This is nuts. Don't, Lana. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. Oh, ouch. You're really just going to kill this girl. Damn! Thank you, Clark. Are you okay? Clark, You need help, girl. You need help. God damn it! No! 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 <gasps> Man! Yo! This guy is straight up psycho. Why does everybody just go straight to murder on the show? Nice shot. <gasps> Oh, oh god! Oh, 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 oh! I can't even watch that! Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god! No, we're gonna get Jonathan? Oh my god, if it's really Jonathan, I, I don't know if I can handle this. It's Jonathan! Oh god. Dad. Hello, son. You don't belong here, Clark. You have to go back. I am so very proud that I died protecting you. Protecting me from what? Lionel Luther Clark. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You can't stay here, son. Yeah, you gotta go after Lionel. You've gotta keep your mother safe. You've gotta keep the whole world safe. And I need you. I cannot do this without you. Yes, you can. This is your destiny, son. You are going to touch the lives of so many people. Not just as a man, but as a, as a symbol. You're a symbol of peace. You're a symbol of justice. And hope. And now it's time for you to go. Oh, God. I love Jonathan, I miss him already. Mom? I'd be like, Lionel, get away from my mother! Oh, she looks so pretty! Uh, look at her! You look amazing. Right? Tell her about Lionel. Oh, something I need to talk to you about. Yeah, tell her about Lionel. Don't you look dashing? Next to you, a man in rags. Yeah, you gotta tell her. Clark. Clark, I don't think fine is the only thing we need to worry about. Nope. And Lex, and Lionel, when and I was Lana. With the serum and died, I saw my father. Mm -hmm. He told me that there's someone else who knows my secret, Lionel Luther. Crossing over was a very enlightening experience. What did you say? Me madre. My mother. What'd she say? She said that she's very proud of the man I'm becoming. That is a lie. She should be. They are getting a lot closer. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Sorry, I didn't want to hurt anyone. Except yourself. I didn't want that either. She just wants to see her parents. Then why were you doing it? I felt alone for a very long time, even when I was around other people, even when I was with you. I guess I just wanted to feel their arms again. I won't let myself be that dependent again, no matter what I'm searching for. I hope so. All I want is for you to be happy. I will be. All right, let's go to talk about it. Well, that was the 17th episode of the fifth season of Smallville Void. Um, I thought it was an okay episode. It wasn't all that great. Um, 
So, I mean, it was just a weird setup, and I guess Lana became a junkie because she... I get where she was coming from. Like, I understand what they were trying to go for in the story. You know, Clark and Lana broke up, and it is, you know, everybody has been in relationships, and everybody breaks up, and it is really, really, really hard um, when, when you're going through it. It really does suck, and it's really painful, and you do, you just want to numb the pain. You just want to feel anything but hurt. And so I understand where Lana is coming from. I mean, she's going through it in this episode. Um, and I understand, like, she just wanted to hug her parents. And I completely get that. And I understand where she is coming from. It was just like a weird, like, cocktail thing that she literally had to die. And then they brought her back to life. I mean, does that not sound suspicious? Like what is this thing um and she you know and they did a good job because uh, of course Kristen is gorgeous she's so pretty and they did a great job of like making her not so pretty like you can tell like she um you know definitely uh did not look good in this episode um and of course we got to see Jonathan again because Clark got stabbed and with the, you know, syringe and uh Jonathan, I miss you. Oh, rest in peace, my guy. Um so basically he told him that Lionel knows his secret and Lionel being the creepy guy that he is is like honing in on Martha now that Jonathan's dead and I'm glad that Martha like put up the boundaries like we're not gonna be anything more than friends so um hopefully Clark will tell Martha about Lionel soon um because she needs to know because he is a snake and uh I really don't like how close they're getting and like it, and I know like he's had this like weird romantic interest and love for Martha since like the jump it's just still kind of like ugh. now that Jonathan's gone they're getting close it's like ugh, it's weird um so um there's that and then um of course Clark goes to Honduras and he tries to find Spike and can't be found and the ship's gone so he was there at least so I guess they're getting closer to finding him again and we shall see the kind of what he's up to i'm curious about everything that he's up to now so um yeah like i said it was an, there's just a, like really much to review like it was it was an okay episode i thought the villains was like very run-of-the-mill um very generic very forgettable the way he died was weird and gross and like i couldn't watch it it was really really gross um and yeah like i said it was just an all right episode um it was a good like follow-up in terms of yes they're in pain and it wasn't just you know um hey yeah we broke up but everybody's fine now like i'm glad like they're still like showing that you know they're in pain and you are in pain when you break up with someone like it's not easy especially when you love somebody as much as you know they love they do love each other it's just uh just doesn't work out um sometimes that happens it's happened to me um so i'm gonna say um i don't know 7.5 like i said it's all right wasn't all that great um i thought kristen's acting was very good though and um oh yeah lex and lana are now getting closer and i think i know where this story's going and i don't like it at all no i don't like it like i know a few episodes i was like their chemistry is kind of cute like it's but you can tell the last couple episodes um they've definitely like they've seen clark and lana like go their separate ways and you are definitely seeing lana and lex get definitely closer and i don't like this at all Ooh, I like their friendship, but I I think they're going to cross that line, and I'm not looking forward to, to that, but we'll see. 
Um, like I said, 7.5 for this episode. In terms of the tally board, we have a plus one for pseudo suit and plus one for reverse pseudo suit. So with the pseudo suit, we are now at 33. And with the reverse, we are at 26. So if you want to see my full reaction, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or hang out right here on YouTube. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you for the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.